The massage table is here. We have the control box set up so the two holes that the light bar goes into are further away from the massage table. When you put the light bar on, it's going to drop in place. It's not going to completely drop into place until you remove the Velcro straps that are holding these two arms in place. We now have the ability to move this light bar in many different directions. We're going to get these out. These are the Vogel holders. We've already installed the rings for the crystals. We have two different types of rings. We have separate instructions on how to use those. Now, the light bar has a cable coming out of one side. That cable plugs into the port in the back. Again, it's L-shaped. It can only go in one way. So at this point, you can see there are some lights on. That's because we have all the lights turned on on the control box. I'm going to turn off a set right now. We still have some light. These are the infrared. And those infrared have an adjuster on one side, which makes them brighter or dimmer. They also pulsate to the music. So again, that, knob, that button that turns them off has three positions. One position makes it pulsate. One position makes it steady. So if you have somebody who's photosensitive, Keep it unsteady. We're going to turn these lights back on. Let me move this up out of the way a little bit, but still enough so you can see some of these lights. I'm pressing one of the red buttons on top. We have four red buttons. Two of them control speed. One of them controls what you're lo looking at. And then the third one is memory. So pressing mode. changes it through 15 different light settings. We have written diagrams on the menu, on the manual that describe what those are. If you find one you like, you can put it into memory and then turn off the system. When you come back, it's going to play that. Real quick about the crystals. These are terribly hard to see because they're crystal clear, but they have a pointed shape to them. And these crystals are going to insert themselves almost to the top. And you're going to push down and hold them in place. Here's a little tip. If you're finding that they just move a lot, clean them with rubbing alcohol clean the rubber part without rubbing alcohol, and just gently heat that rubber part with a hairdryer a little bit. You're just going to warm it up a little bit so these can sit and situate themselves. You may find that they'll stick better. That is the basic workings of it. It goes up, down, around, left, right. It has these parts which are going to lock that in place. It makes it nice and tight. Um, the music is controlled through the sound box on the bottom. You can adjust the music through your music player. You can adjust your lighting. You can do all sorts of great things with it. Oh, I forgot one magical part. So we were talking way earlier about a bracket 
that goes on the light bar. We usually stick that towards the head. And then your headphones can rest on those when you're not using them. And that is it. Thank you so much.